And the two hydrogen and oxygen molecule get, are Mickey and Mimi Mole. Eight electrons. The dipolar nature of water is dipolar, meaning two poles. The positive pole, just like a magnet in a magnetic field, the two hydrogens out in space are the positive portion and the negative portions of water are the electrons, electron pairs. So now to take it a step further, what we find in water, if we draw Mickey and Mimi again, oxygen, and a positive part, portion, two on the inside, the electron pair hands of water being negative are going to in a liquid be up next to something else, another water molecule, or some salt dissolved in there. The negatives are going to look for something positive to be drawn or attracted to. And the positive portion of water is the H. So this positive portion, negative, on an adjacent water, there's another hydrogen. What happens? Hydrogen, what did we say again, is just a proton and an electron. Well, this is the electron pair, so this is one of hydrogen's electrons. If we think of that as being just a proton out there, positive charge, negative charge. So what we can see happening since oxygen now that we know what electronegativity is, oxygen has a high electronegativity value. It's going to hold on to the electrons. What comes and goes in water? Hydrogen, which is really the proton. Because without the electron, it's not really considered hydrogen. So if a proton can actually be stripped away by a neighboring water, what results is an ionization that's the opposite of an electron leaving or going, because now we have a positive proton going. But it's still the same theory of charge separation. Here we have positive. Here where the electrons stayed, but no positive to balance it, gets a negative overall charge. And the two ways to represent this in water H3O plus. P plus. OH minus. H2O minus positive portion, proton. Negative means the electrons there. P means the protons on the water. And this representation is confusing. H3, it's really like H2O. P plus. And next, I'll show how that leads to pH. The power of hydrogen. Power is referring to the exponent. So in order to consider water any further, first we need to understand a little bit about how small the water molecule is and how many of them we need to measure to start counting and understanding them. First, if we consider one liter of water, in one liter of water there are 55 0.5 roughly moles of water. This is one 
later. A mole is Latin for a pile or quantity of. In chemistry, it's called Avogadro's number, and it's a large number, but an easy way to remember it is that Mickey and Mimi were born at 6.02 a.m. on October 23rd. Now what this would translate to is 6.02, the 10th month October, and the exponent 23. So in our water, what we see in one liter is the 55.5 moles times Avogadro's number turns out to be about 3.34 times 10 to the 25th power number of water molecules in one liter. Use values from the periodic table of the elements is what's called the atomic weight. This is in grams per mole here. So what we find on average for a mole of hydrogen atoms, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd hydrogen atoms, on average, turns out to weigh 1.0079, or roughly if we want to consider that. But see, it's not an even one. And what this results from is that a very small fraction number of hydrogen atoms, remember hydrogen I said was one proton, which we now know is in the middle of an atom, the nucleus they call it, and one little tiny electron, usually envisioned to somehow be in a cloud surrounding this. Well, ever so often what we find is there's a neutron in the symbol NO. What a neutron turns out to be close enough is the mass of a proton and an electron. And that's why it doesn't turn out to be a 1.0000. And the 794 actually is from a smaller, even smaller, even smaller percentage of water. It has to have one proton. But what we find is it has two neutrons. Two particles here is why this is called deuteron. And three particles, because the electron hardly weighs. So one proton, two no neutrons, three particles roughly, called tritium. Deuterium. It's another name for the two particle mass. This is known as heavy water. Heavy because on most water molecules, just about 99.99, roughly 9%, are one proton only. And a smaller percentage bring these decimals in as having one neutron and another smaller percentage having two neutrons. Some may even have Oxygen, it turns out, to have roughly an atomic mass of 15.999, which we'll round off to call 16. Oxygen, 16, we know it has an atomic number of 8, so that must mean there's 8 neutrons on average in any given water mo oxygen molecule. So now in order for a mole of water, what we're going to see is it would be roughly 16 for the oxygen, and then we would need 2 times the 1.0079, call it. So now we would see that 2 times 1 is 2, and this would still be like almost 2. So if we call this 2 plus 16, there would be 18 grams for one mole 